Hi guys, today it's time for a recap of the whole year 2021 in my blood journal. I'll flip through both of these destroyed journals in this video and talk a little bit about what I've learned this year. So hopefully you can get some ideas and tips for your own journals as well. So let's just open up this gray notebook therapy journal that I used for the first half of this year and start flipping through the pages starting from the yearly setup. Up. I always need to blur out some personal information in these videos, but I hope it doesn't bother you too much. And if you're newer here on the channel, there's also a detailed monthly setup video of each theme you'll see here today. So if something catches your eye, I'll leave you a playlist of this year's videos to the description. One of my bullet journaling goals this year was to get a little bit more creative with these setups. For me, this was my fourth year of blood journaling, but I still always try to find new interesting ways to decorate the pages. I've definitely already figured out which kinds of pages I tend to use the most, but I still always want to at least try to come up with something new and exciting so you'll also get some new ideas and everything stays fun for me too. I think my themes overall are pretty out there because making these videos is kind of my job in this point and I also sell these themes in a digital form so that's why it feels natural for me to put quite a lot of effort into each theme but if I was just using my bullet journal out of camera as my hobby I think my layouts would definitely be much simpler than this. But anyway, I continued with some bigger paintings this year. I think I used watercolors and gouache paints pretty equally. And then I think something you might notice here in the themes is that I use a lot of these different Dutch door layouts, which are a super fun way to create some unique pages. I also used some colorful craft papers to decorate some of the themes, which is something I haven't done much before. And then later on in the year, I also bought one of those paper knife thingies that allowed me to make some cutout layouts in the themes. I think the June setup is probably the best example of that. Then, as always, there are some unfinished pages and empty weeklies here and there. I usually miss one week from almost every month, I think. But those are just usually weeks when I have a pretty clear idea of what I need to get done. So sometimes just setting the weekly layouts doesn't feel that necessary for me. And I never try to force myself to do it just to keep up with my journal. I think being easy on yourself about stuff like that is definitely one of the keys to long-term blood channeling. There will always be weeks and months when the motivation is a little bit lower and that's completely okay. I think what I consistently use the bullet journal the most is definitely the overall monthly planning and setting the focus for the month ahead. So I usually consider some goals in the beginning of the month and after doing that I feel like I have a pretty clear idea of everything from there. So I think especially if you're a student or a freelancer or just otherwise need to manage your own work tasks and schedule, setting that type of monthly focus might be very helpful for you too so you don't end up taking too much on your plate at once or maybe you could avoid any sudden work overloads by doing that. And then I of course use the monthly review pages which is usually always the last spread in these monthly layouts and I feel like that has been very helpful to get out some thoughts and struggles I've had and also reviewing each month definitely teaches you quite a lot about your personal patterns and the stuff you probably should focus more moving forward. I know I just kind of ended up talking about all kinds of stuff rather than explaining these monthly themes here, but I'm always interested to hear which was your guys' favorite theme this year. 
is it really hard for me to choose a favorite, but I think maybe the March Paris theme, then probably the June and September were my own favorites from this year. I think August might have been the most time consuming one with all the big paintings and I think same goes for the first January theme. The December pages are still pretty empty since I just started to use them, but all the other themes are already finished. But anyways, as I mentioned earlier, for anyone who's interested, these themes are on my shop as polished digital download versions. And actually all of the themes are now updated for the upcoming year. I already have quite a lot of them in the shop, so you can filter the themes by month. But each theme also comes with a completely blank setup that can be modified for any month and year. But yeah, I think that's probably everything for today. As always, thank you guys so much for another amazing bullet journaling year. I am so grateful for having all of you here sharing your love and support. But I hope you're excited about the new year and the new yearly setup video. And of course the January setup as well. Which I think I'll post both of those videos a little bit earlier this year. So if you're not subscribed yet, doing that would be highly appreciated <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching i hope you're having an amazing day or night wherever you are and see you in my next one bye bye